Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I talk to many new gun owners. Actually, many new gun owners seek me out. I get contacted by them, and they ask for advice. And as I talk to them, many of them have ideas, which is good. We should be thinking about what our first gun purchase would be the best choice for us individually. But as I spoke with this young man just recently, he said, I'm thinking about getting an LCP. I want a Ruger LCP because it's really small and I've watched videos, I read reviews and it's a great gun and I'm going with that. I'm like, so you're really not asking advice, you're asking for confirmation and I think if you're going to get a first time gun, then that is not a good choice. He said, what do you mean? I said, what do you plan to use that gun for? Well, if I ever get my carry permit, I could carry it and I'll use it for home defense. I said, you're going to use a Ruger LCP for home defense as your first gun. He said, yeah, I, I think that's a great way to go because I want something really small. So it would be convenient. And I'm really not comfortable with something that is much larger than that. Now, I understand the need to be comfortable. All right, it's, it's important to be comfortable. But what I've lost patience for are people who live their lives to be comfortable. It seems like if, if something makes somebody uncomfortable, then everything else has to change. All right, we just, the thought of being uncomfortable in today's world is an outrage. Therefore, everything has to change. My dad told me a long time ago, he said, son, never say that you're uncomfortable because nobody cares. All right, life isn't always comfortable, life isn't always convenient, life isn't always satisfying. All right, but that's separate, just a little rant I have about the whole comfort thing. I said, you know what brings me comfort? Is when I go to the range and I shoot at my target and I actually hit my target. Try that with your LCP as a first time gun owner. Have you shot many handguns? He said, no. All right, and so you're going to get this LCP and you're going to shoot it. This has a 2.75 inch barrel, all right? How accurate do you think you're going to be? Well, most self-defense situations are three feet away. I'm not buying it, guys. I'm not buying it. Somebody kicks in your door and you're over by the bedroom and that front door is 10, 12, 15 feet away and you need to make that shot, you better be accurate. And if you're a first time gun owner with a little gun like this, you're going to struggle. So my advice for the first time gun owner is get a compact size gun. This person said they wanted a Ruger. I said, that's great. You know, you can get a Ruger Security 9. They're not a lot of money. Holds 15 rounds. It's got a four inch barrel and you will be able to shoot more accurate with it. With a compact size gun, as a first time gun owner, we're talking inexperienced people. The recoil is less, the capacity is more, and the confidence will grow the better that you shoot it and the, and the more you practice and so forth. There are so many more benefits. Plus you're looking at a 380, which is the LCP2 he wanted to get, versus a nine millimeter. And it, this made no sense. He's like, I don't know if I'm comfortable. I said, no, enough about this comfortable bit. When, when you shoot, at a target and you actually hit the target, that's comfortable, all right? When you shoot the LCP as a first time gun owner, I remind you, it is a struggle. And so we see these first time gun owners, they have all these ideas. They even have ideas on self-defense. Well, this is how I plan to handle it. Now, I can relate to that because when I first started getting into all this, I had all these ideas, but the more experience I got, the more research I did, the more people I spoke with, and the more training classes that I took, I learned that my original ideas were way off, and I had to change. Whether I was comfortable with them or not, I had to change because the reality is Criminals do not make appointments. They, they do not tell you their strategy. You have to adjust to your situation. And if you have a little gun that you do not shoot well, then you're, you're, you could be in big time trouble, okay, despite what your ideas are. And so as I'm ta talking to this guy, he's kind of looking at me like, you know, I, I, I'm really not buying what you're saying. And that's fine. You don't have to. I'm just a guy who you happen to ask advice to. But I'm giving you my advice. So many times, 
first time gun owners want the most convenient little gun and they think that's going to be the be all do everything firearm for them including home defense including carry including everything but they want the least amount of uncomfortableness and the least amount of size which is the exact opposite of what new gun owners should try to achieve they should try to achieve accuracy capacity low recoil get comfortable with it and then after you gain that experience and you want something like an lcp then that that would be in my opinion satisfactory but it's getting that experience you you realize you cannot exp you cannot replace experience you can replace your ideas you can replace other things but when it comes to experience you actually have to go through that process to get that experience and if you're not willing to do that then you're off track and you're going to find yourself coming back a month later and say you know you were right what's that gun you mentioned again because i think that's the one i should have gone with they also want to go with the cheapest price. I get that. Everybody has a budget. I'm not here to say that you need to go spend $800 on a gun. But when you consider how much your life is worth, perhaps, you know, maybe a $150 gun may not be the way to go. I mean, just Dan here speaking, but that's just, that's just my thoughts. But new gun owners, they make a lot of mistakes when they want to choose their first gun. It has to do with comfortableness because they want the smallest one possible and that's going to get the job done when in fact against a hardened criminal who is well experienced you're probably you may not fare out too well those are just my thoughts consider your ideas but also be willing to learn other people's ideas who actually have experience if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.